Yo, what's up guys? We're back with another Tarkov video and today we're going to be talking about how to make money. We're going to be talking about stashes and caches, which are actually the same thing, but where they are on the maps and where you guys can find them. Today, we're going to be talking about customs. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody and welcome back to the Xville and Hideout. My name is Ghost. If you guys have never been here before, I'm super excited you guys are here. We're back with another Tarky video and this one is going to be stashes and caches. Now, when I use these words, just know that they're interchangeable. They're pretty much the same thing. In the game, they're actually called caches, if that's even how you pronounce it. At the same time, a lot of people call them stashes, so just know that. Um, just so you guys know, before we get into the video, I do stream live on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. PST to about like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. We always have a lot of fun. Feel free to come and hang out at any point in time. I'd love to have you. So we're going to jump right into the video. Before we do, I want to make a small disclaimer about stashes and caches, why you should even watch this video. And that has to do with making money. If you can make money in Tarkov and you can learn other ways to make money other than killing PMCs and taking their stuff and selling it or selling stuff you randomly find. But if you're intentionally looking for stashes filled with stuff and knowing what items to take, you can make more money, which means you're going to lose some of that gear fear because a lot of the gear fear we have is because because you feel like you're never gonna get that item again. Once you lose it, it's bad. And then sometimes I see people, even higher levels that are just have low money and they just don't wanna raid. They wanna wait every 20 minutes for a scav, which is fine, scav whenever you can. But you shouldn't have to wait 20 minutes if you like uh, need another 10 minutes for a scav. And we do that because we don't know how to make money. So this should help you with that. What stashes are, are pretty much little hidden gems around the map that are either like uh, barrels in the ground that are filled up or like um, camouflaged like wooden planks that are on the ground and they're filled with items. And these items range from like ammo to guns to um, like literally every special item to tools. So many things you think you'll need, um, provisions, so uh, food and drink, um, everything. Everything is in these stashes and caches, but there is RNG, so it's just gonna depend on that day, on that stash. And so yeah, let's get right into the video. I actually spawned over here in trailer park storage and where customs office is. The reason why I'm gonna skip ahead to the next part, but I wanted to show this part, is because there is no stashes on this side of the map, at least that I know of. I've never found any. We're gonna go over the 18, which is all of the stashes before the expansion was added to customs. If you guys wanna see the full expansion and other loot spots, be sure to check out the video. I'll make sure I put a card up so you guys can click on that. I cover it all in the 12.7 update, but we're gonna skip ahead to where the stashes actually start. So I'm gonna to try to go over all of this stuff really fast for you guys, as fast as possible. I'm not gonna really skip ahead. I'm kinda gonna just run to the different spots and then when I stop, I'm gonna skip ahead to the next part, but I'm not gonna like fast forward. I'm just gonna go through it. Um, so this is right before we start coming up to like where dead scabs at and then the whole new 12.7 expansion. So when you're coming across this dirt on the very first one, not the second, you're gonna come up to these pipes. When you see these pipes, you're gonna see that the very first stash is actually right here. And you can go ahead and loot this, and then you're gonna run actually right here to the second set of pipes. And there's a floor one right here. So you can kind of get a route in once you start learning all of these, you can kind of decide like how you wanna approach each area if you wanna do a stash run, because it's gonna be a little bit different. Usually I would've came up all the way up here and then pushed in this way. But since if like, if it's one of those days where I'm like, you know, I'm gonna hit the stashes and see what's in them, then I'm gonna go ahead and come this way and then go all the way up. Okay, so those are actually the only two that were in that area, which was way over there, right? We were on the shore. So now we're over here on the road to dorms. We have old construction over here leading into the new area. So as you approach this front line and cross the road, this is where we're gonna find our next friend <laughs> with an R, all right? This is where we're gonna find our next set of stashes. And the first one is gonna be in this crate. You've probably passed this crate many times. There's actually a stash in here. Boom, right there. So then there's that one. Once you go in and get that one, you're going to push this way. Actually, let's go, let's go over here. So I don't usually go to this front one right away. It really depends on what's happening in the map. And that's actually something I wanna talk about. Now, there's a lot of people that know about these stashes or caches, which means you need to be careful when you're looting because sometimes people look for people 
who are looting stashes and caches. Also, this one is dangerous because Sniper Scav comes up right here, and there's many times where I go to loot this and I forget about Sniper Scav and I get shot. So, um, this is just one of those ones that's a little bit dangerous. Um, it's going into a gas station, so people come and build up over here getting ready to hit up Rashala and the homies. So, it's right here in this tire. Boom, right here. So, there's that one. Then we're gonna go back because I wanna show you like how I do the run from this stashes, right? Um, so yeah, so just be careful when you're looting them. Be aware of your surroundings um, and just know it's gonna make a little bit of noise. You're also gonna be a little bit more vulnerable when you're looting them, so just be aware. So now that we've looted that one, we're gonna come along this fence for a bus fence and we're gonna follow it all the way down. When you get to the corner of bus fence, like right here, you can just follow it down and go slightly left. So we're gonna run like this and then you're gonna find a floor stash. Boom, next one's right here, which is pretty open. Then you're gonna leave here. We're gonna run all the way up here. And there's actually a couple that you can hit up here. So you can hit this from two ways. You can hit it right here, be careful because the wood makes noise when you're crossing over it. And you can go into this open area. It's actually gonna be right here. Or what I usually do is I'll run up this way because that's a high traffic area and I come through this hole. So it was right there and I'll go ahead and come through this hole, make sure that nothing's happening right here. And then I kind of just quietly move my way to the back of the fence. And then another thing that you wanna do a tip is whenever you're searching something, you wanna hit search and then switch to an area that I can slowly tab out of or quickly tab out of, I mean, and be ready to fight. So I know people are gonna be coming through this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to search and then I'm gonna move this way. So that way if somebody comes, I'm right away ready to fire. So anyways, we're gonna search that one and we're gonna move our little guy like this, our little guy. <laughs> And that's another one. So then we're gonna come up here through this fence. You can actually go down this way as well. And we're gonna push towards this side, which is the back of new gas station. And there's gonna be another one right here. Okay, so the last one in this area is actually going to be, I got stuck, in front of gas station. And this is going to be, we're gonna be hitting them west to the top of the map to the east of the map and try to hit them all in this uh, in this general direction. This one's gonna be over here in front of gas station. It's also a risky one. And you see this big set of bushes right here? It's gonna be actually in here. Right here, boom. All right, let's hit the backside. So as we're running up from gas station, we've left that area now, and we're gonna be passing this like uh, satellite antenna area. And then when you come in here, be careful. Um, we're gonna go to, this is the very middle. We're gonna go to this blue fence that is over here. So this far blue fence. And you're just gonna follow the fence straight to the stash. It's right there. Then we're gonna move all the way back. And if we were to run straight back, there's gonna be a little area where people get behind. You've probably fought behind here before. So the path goes all the way through right here this rock and how you see how you can go behind this little secret getaway a vacation no i'm just kidding uh is where the next one's going to be you're going to follow the fence all the way down and it's going to be right here see pretty hidden actually i took a while for me to find it i actually accidentally found it i went into that little area to uh reload my mag and ended up finding it and then some of these i've have looked up of course i mean you know what i'm saying so the other one I'm gonna show you like how to find it with a point of reference is we're gonna go back to the road. So you're actually gonna see these rocks off the trail right here. And you're gonna go before the rocks and just go pretty much straight. And then you're gonna find this next one. It's gonna be right up here. See it right here, kind of in the middle. Then we're gonna go all the way back. So some of these are also by extractions. So you can actually like, for instance, this one we're going to right now, like military checkpoint, you're gonna be able to just, when you have this extraction, check it. Um, now, if you're running by, you can also do that. But, uh, oh, there's more of those things. You guys will find in my customs video. <clears throat> so this is the extraction right here. Look at right here behind this dumpster. Boom, another one. This one's actually cool because you can literally chill behind here and nobody can see you and you can search freely. Then we're gonna push forward this way. Okay, so as I was running to the next one, I realized, don't be confused, I realized that I forgot one because it's kind of tucked away by itself. This is actually one of the spawns you're gonna spawn in, it's very close. So you're gonna spawn somewhere in this area. 
So we went to gas station, then we ran up to Antenna. We checked that last blue fence and we kept going. So now, if we were to go actually back this way to this side, now we are gonna go over here and you're gonna see this antenna. And right back here on this fence, there's gonna be another one right here. And you could crouch and you could, uh, you can get it. Okay, so we're back on the main road. That was the last one we went before our little uh, distraction of me remembering, had that brain fart. Now we're gonna run up this way um, and you're gonna see it. So usually you would be over here, right by the rocks and you'd be running through this whole area. So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna, you could still run through that area. Let's just do it this way because this is where you're gonna be probably. You're going right here, you loot the bag. There's a toolbox in there. So when you're coming through here, all you do is you hit the fence and you go down. We follow this fence all the way down, not to the first bush, but to the second bush. This is probably one of the ones that is hardly ever looted and usually pretty full. There's one right there. Then we're gonna go up. There's quite a few in this area. And say you come through right here. This is by another extraction. So this is an extraction right here. We have an extraction right here. You're gonna follow the fence this way and hidden right here in the corner is this one, which sometimes uh, you probably extracted here and didn't even know that was there. And then we're gonna follow the fence all the way down this way, which I don't recommend if you're actually playing in game to run over here, because you just have no cover if you start getting fired upon. I would recommend always running down this way. But for the sake of the video, we are going to run down this way. This is where uh, ZB111's at. And then uh, this is like the far east bottom corner of the map. And then in these big bushes right here, where this pole's at, there's gonna be another stash right, where is it, right? Oh my gosh, can't, right here. It's super hidden, oh my gosh, you couldn't even see it. Right here, see it? Then we're gonna run over here, past ZB111. And there's gonna be another one where these pipes are. We're seeing a trend here. There's gonna be one right here. Then we're gonna go this way. This one's kind of far away. Um, I usually don't take this back route when I run this way. I go in between stuff, so I'm not out in the open, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you where we're at. You're actually gonna keep going, keep going. We're gonna follow it all the way to the next portion, which is over here. Now, if you are coming back here, I will note, be careful, because this is an extraction. And that light is on, which means that it's open. So when you're coming over here and you're jumping over to go to the next part, sometimes I have gotten gunfights literally right here because I'm over here jumping, making a bunch of noise and they're extracting. So we're gonna go all the way down here and um, sniper scav is right here, so be careful. We're gonna push to this pit and there's one right here. Well, it just started raining and we are now on top of the world because you just found out where all 18 stashes are on customs. We are going to be so rich. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. That is all the stashes. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know down in the comments if you guys haven't seen all of them. If there's a couple that you didn't know about, let me know, I wanna know. Also, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to cover um, any other type of content on Tarkov. We are gonna be covering the other stash guides. I'll let you know ahead of time. So we're gonna be covering Shoreline, Woods, and Interchange. So you guys will have those very shortly. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. You guys have been showing me tremendous amount of love on these videos and I just want to say thank you to you guys if you guys got something out of this video feel free to smash that like button it goes a long way for the channel and really helps me with YouTube's algorithms also if you guys don't want to miss another Tarkov upload we're gonna be trying to do a video every other day make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when videos go live I hope to see you guys soon on the live stream, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. PST. We usually have a blast and it's going to be funner. Funner, is that a word? It's gonna be better when you're there. I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you have an amazing day or night, depending on where you're at in the world. I hope your raids are plentiful and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. What, dude? I'm tired of you killing me. What? You're not really saying anything anymore, are you? Uh.